All right, I'm gauging that. That's. Yeah. I'm quite happy that that mark I've put on is now rotated. Sorry, 90. I said 45 before. That's 90 degrees. Isn't it? Okay. Now we just want to turn this. Touching anything. Where are we? We want to come at the other end, don't we? Make sure we're on that mark. Alright, what I've done with the other one, why I put that mark on there is I'm only coming to the end, I'm not coming up onto the gap for the moment. Zero there. Now, engage this. It's dropping away. Actually, that is, yeah, That's, this end is coming towards us. That's point one of a mil. hundredths of a mil. So that means I want to push that end over doesn't it? 
from me, I better undo them bolts. I see a bit of movement on there, is it? It's Come back a little bit more, don't we? A bit of spam. Nine and a half hundreds. Okay. I wonder if that back end is moving away as well. Well, I hope you can see this. You can see we're near enough on zero there. And this is the best I've got it. Bearing in mind there's going to be wear in this. It's a very old machine. So in the usual place it does dip a bit different. But that's now, and that's where the wear is. You can feel it. It's much looser there. back 
and that's where it's hitting onto the onto the gap just there. So I've got to do something with the gap to get that running level. But I think I'm happy with that there. I'm happy that I've got that. I suppose the next thing we ought to do is put something in the chuck, turn it. No, actually, I'm not going to do that. I want to get the tail stock set. And then we can turn some between centres and see what sort of taper we've got, if any, hopefully none. But I'm quite happy with that now. Quite pleased. I think next time I do mess around or get into this side, I'm not going to start stripping all all that over there out. So once I do start getting into the um, into this behind here, I've slackened all the belts to actually do. I might put a couple of these screws the other side as well. That way, then I can get in there and be a bit easier. Okay, tail stop next. Okay, tail stock. I'm unsure what to do about this. I've got it up at the right height, but that's took a bit of shimming. Um, this is ordinary like um, drinks can. And that's about three foul-ish from what I can tell. And um, that's got three leaves of it in here, in these, and there's another two running underneath there. So there's five of this, that's going to be 15,000. And that now brings that up level with the centre I turned that's in the chuck. So I'm happy with that. When I have this in the position there, you now I've found out there's quite a bit of wear on the inside in this area here. So there's not so much play there. When it comes back here, there is a lot more. Now, in that position, what I can do is I can use some little slithers if I ever remember to do this. And it wants one in on this side and one in on that side. Just to pause it that way a little bit. But it's still not quite enough. If I put a long bar in and I had turned one up. Wherever it's gone. When I put that in, I don't know what sort of discrepancy this chuck's putting into the game. But when I put that in, that's running out, it's sitting at that angle. Exaggerated. I'm going to try and bring it around. But having said that, when I move this in, when it's in that position there, with just these small little shims in, in there with it extended and when it goes right in close it doesn't need anything so it's just showing this ends quite warm it's fine so you know like I said when that's back here with that in that's showing that 
this end still wants to come around more. It wants to pivot around that way. The only way I can achieve that is by removing material uh, a little bit off back there and a little bit off the front there. But considering how it is closer up, I don't want to do that. So I think I'm going to leave as is, just use little shims and put up with whatever there. I don't think I should expect too much from this machine, should I? So anyway, I think for now, I'm going to leave it where it is. And yeah, them little shims there that I'll have to do. Okay, I will put up with that. That's fine, I can replace them any time if they wear through. It's only drinks can. So, happy with that so far. It seems to be working out well. I'm happy with that. So I suppose the next thing I want to get back and concentrate on, change gears. That'll be next. Continue with that. Now I've got the lathe set up a bit a bit better than it was. So I've still got to sort the chuck out and grind the jaws, but it's all right for now. It will do for now. Hopefully, I'll get a die grinder soon, and we can sort that. Anyway, see you again.